Hello to you all, this is John. Um, now, this video I'm doing is quite a quick one, and it's in response to a question uh, come from an end user in SharePoint with regards to working with documents and auditing documents quickly within a document library. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through just some quick tips and tricks about group editing and auditing library document properties. Now to do this I'm going to quickly create uh, a view within the document library. I'm going to use the group property uh, to group by column and show some of the advantages of using the inline editing. So I've got a typical document library on screen and I've added a few columns uh, from previous videos. I've got a rating scale here but I've also added some columns to represent the skill level of these documents. So what sort of level of audience the document is aimed at and I've got a status that runs several workflows across a document's life cycle. What was requested is you know, simple little tips and tricks on how to be able to view the documents via their status and group them by the status but still be able to work and change the properties over multiple documents relatively quickly. Now you may have seen, if I go to the library tab on my ribbon, the datasheet view. The only problem is datasheet view doesn't work too well with managed metadata columns. You can see these, these columns here, I can't work with them. These are managed metadata columns and it won't let me use these in datasheet view. Plus, datasheet view doesn't work with grouped structure. And to prove that, I've already got a a view that I've created in advance. You can see I've grouped these by the status. There's my skill level. And if I just display the properties of this document, you can see this skill level is a managed metadata column. So the idea is if I typed in any sort of fancy common words for a skill level like introduction, beginners, it automatically recommends the correct term the business uses. But unfortunately, if I switch this grouped view to datasheet view, once again, I've lost the grouping and I am not able to modify some of the data. So let's create that group view again from scratch and I'm also going to add in a few other properties uh, along the way to see if we can beef up the speed of which we can audit the information. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new view. And I'm going to use a standard view for this. And I'm going to call this status audit because it is exactly that. It's a page for modifying and auditing the status of each document. So A, spell it correctly. B, I'm not putting any spaces in. I will muck around with the title of the page name later on. But I am going to just quickly add the appropriate columns I want. So I would like to keep the skill level. That's the one I want to show for managed metadata. I don't want to display the status column as I had on the previous page because I want to use that as a grouping mechanism. So I'm going to expand this group by property that's further down the page and apply the status column as the group. Now effectively, if I'm going to be auditing, I could just scroll to the bottom, click OK, and you can see that the groups by default are collapsed. Now that's going to cause some problems in a moment when I add the inline editing. So for this purpose, I'm going to change the view so these groups expand by default. So I'm going to go to the Library tab, modify this view, scroll down to my Properties and there's my group by. Expand that and I'm going to show this expanded. While I'm here I'm going to expand the items limit and just say well instead of 30 I'm going to increase this to 100 items to display. But what I'm also going to do is show this inline editing. Now to expand this, is all it's one, it's just one tick box. There are some limitations to this. The style that you use for the view needs to be the default style for this to work. So I'm just going to tick that allow inline editing. And 
scroll to the bottom and click OK. So my statuses are expanded by default. I can collapse those that I don't want to see. And I need to edit or modify the properties of some of these documents. So although we can't use datasheet view, this new icon here is the inline editing. And what it allows me to do is if I give it a click, it allows me to edit the properties directly. Now you saw that page refresh. If I hadn't set it to expand by default, when I click that inline editing, that column would have collapsed. Which means I've had to expand it each time, which is a bit annoying. So that's why I've had it expand by default. I can modify the file name, but inside the inline editing, unlike the date sheet view, I can very quickly use managed metadata columns as well. And there we go. If I make any changes on the keep, I just click the save button, otherwise I click the red cross to cancel any changes. And that's not as quick as the date sheet view, but it does allow me to modify the on-screen columns quite nicely and still keep an eye on the others in comparison. And the one thing that also I can do, which is quite nice to the grouping style views, is I can put in totals. So if I'm going to modify this view one more time. And to show a good example, I'm going to enable the file size. And then scroll down the properties where I have my totals expand and for every column that I have enabled in the view I can go alongside and provide a summary. So anything that's numerical you get the usual statistical functions such as sum, average, max, min, count. Any columns that are text based such as the name of the file because it's text the only thing I can do with it is count. So I'm going to count the number of documents within each status and sum the total file size they're taking up. But if I had other columns like you know the date that the, uh, the document is alive for and so on, I could do an average and there's so many different statistics I can show on screen. So if I now click on OK, at the top of each status I now get a quick count and their file size. And there you go. So a nice simple way of using a, a nice simple audit of your documents to manage them better.